I'm now joined by a 70 year old artist that's taken the music industry by storm. Some call him one of the greatest MCs around, others call him Chipmunk. Here he is now. Safe for coming on, bro. It's getting no respect, man. Yeah, safe. Cool. Start off with like a basic question, man. How did you kind of start off in the music industry and when did you realise you was onto something big? It was like um, 03, 04, like 2003, 2004 time, just living on the estate, running up and down little toe rags. If it ain't football, I was at the youth club. And at the youth club, it was basically, you're neither good at pool or you're good at music, or they just dash you in the other room and make you play football. I was good at everything apart from music, but it was a point where Everyone had a lyric, even if you just had one, you could just go in there with your one lyric and then go out. But then, so I ripped my one lyric, said to my brother, went home, yeah, what do you think? He said it was dead. I thought, nah, <laughs> anything I do, I want to be the best in best, it. So yeah, I worked yeah. at it, I worked at it. I was going to the youth club every single Wednesday that my mum let me, and just kept at it and kept at it. Then took it from there to pirate radio. And from the radio, like, I was in a group called Shoddy Crew, like me, Double S, a guy called Shot a D, Maestro, Lady T, and we had the, the buzz in it because we was on Heat FM after Roll Deep okay, at the time. Cool. And that time, the value of pirate radio was higher. So if Roll Deep said, keep it locked, because Shoddy Crew's coming up next, you'll Everyone keep it locked. Lock. And because we were so young and we were the only people that had bars at the time, we was doing it, man. Phone lines were popping off and took it from there. But you need a, for people to take you seriously, like you need a CD, like a package to show, yeah. show what you're doing. So at 14, I bought out Whatever the Weather Volume 1. Then 15, turning 16, I done Whatever the Weather Volume 2. That's when people started noticing the talent. And then League On My Own was my first CD to get nationwide distribution. And then in between those, I started my own group called Circular Movements because the Shoddy Crew thing didn't work out. The image of being in a crew it yeah. weren't really what I was trying to do. So I branched off, done my own thing, brought in Shallow and a mate called Hits, and then done a promo with them, like a free downloadable promo, because as much as the sales, if you're giving people stuff for free as well, it gives them more of a reason to want to buy. Yeah. And then linked up with Cookie and Black the Ripper, done another free promo, it's called Motivation Music, which is basically motivation music, and it? it's music that you hear to show like we're putting in work and giving you free music. So we'd appreciate if you can go and buy and then first single, up. video, and then everything just went from there, man. Well, you're definitely not the typical 17-year-old, um, <laughs> especially as a music artist as well. Yeah. You've got four Bs, five As, and you're currently studying accountancy, drama, and sociology. sociology. Man, that's good, man. Yeah. So, so if music weren't your thing, what would you be doing? Well, I liked, I like working with kids, innit? Because I feel that if we had more people from my generation growing up that were, like, highly influential, yeah. but at the same time had respect when they were out on the roads, but still highly educated. Some of us wouldn't be in some of the problems we're in now. So I would like to be that person that can help. So probably a social worker or a youth worker or the boss of a youth working That's it, system. That's what I want to hear, man. Because like, the way I see it is the system, it teaches you to be like an employee, not yeah. an employer, innit? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. obviously at the same time I'm doing my A-levels, I've decided music's my life, but out of respect and the public image, you have to keep pursuing. And I like studying at the same time, but now it's getting very hard, man, with everything taking off at the same time. But definitely, neither like social work or youth work, man. Yeah, well, well keep it locked to your education, bro, because that's key. And, mm. and like, I don't know, man, listen to your music, I can see that you're on that motivational, positive vibe as well, and listening yeah. to one of your tracks, My Life, you talk about how people don't actually know you. Mm. And there's more to you that kind of meets the eye. I mean, what one thing would you say, what one thing can you tell us about yourself that typical person don't know. Like, you're yeah, referring back to the My Life track. Like, My Life is basically, when you're going through life, you're going to experience, like, bad things. Like, one of the worst, what made me into the person I am today was a good friend of mine got stabbed and died. So it's like, you can either, from that, some people, it depends how strong your willpower is, you can either run riot and turn into a madman and pursue those type of actions, or you can think, whoa, and wake up and do your own thing. So, yeah, I tell you that happened, and I tell you how that could avoid, you could avoid that situation as a listener yep. and also how it affected me instead of saying, all right, my friend got stabbed, so now I'm going to stab people. It don't make no sense. But one thing people don't know about me is that I'm actually like an approachable, cool person. Like, you assume that most MCs and artists are stuck up. Like, when I was growing up, the MCs that were in my position now, you could hardly talk to them. They no, thought they were... hit them up. MySpace yeah, didn't as well, so... MySpace, even, like... 
I don't have the time always to message back everyone or comment back everyone, but I yeah. actually do try. Like if you ask me a question, naturally I'll give you an answer, but yeah. if you just give me a statement, sometimes I might just read it and brush it just because I'm in a rush. But I'm actually, I'm cool, I'm approachable, man. If you're doing music and you've actually got talent, I don't just work with people that's up there. You work it's with like, everyone, man. If you've got talent and you know serious and music's for you, I'm willing to help out, man, serious. Of inspiration, man. Just Trust. keep doing what you're doing, man, because you're quite popular at the moment and bigger and better things. Just remember us, man. Come back on the show when you got that record deal. Of course, man. And you got the platinum records. As this guy at the moment, just working on the album, always recording, supporting me highly. For success, you need a good team behind you, and thank God I have got a very good team. But yeah, the album, man, the album's coming out hopefully October. The videos are pumping. Who are you, Muhammad Ali? We're keeping it moving, man. MySpace.com forward slash. Chipmunk, Chipmunk artist. artist, check me out, hit me up, comments, messages, and you can keep updated with everything that's going on in my life, man. Cool, bro. Safe, man. Respect, man.